Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and it was fully my intention not to shoot any more on-camera vids until I got my permanent crown in, but of course, because it's my life, the crown that I was supposed to get yesterday was the wrong color, so I'm waiting an additional eight days for them to send it back and get the right colored one. Story of my life. So I've legit been without my real tooth now for going on, I think this Sunday will be three weeks or maybe four. So anyway, but what else, I wanted to shoot this because I'm super, super excited that I got a surprise friend mail from my amazing friend Jeannie. I was not expecting this at all, so I'm super, super stoked. I apologize, I'm just gonna be so self-conscious, but hopefully it doesn't look too terrible. But anyway, guys, um, I'm covering up the addresses, obviously, but um, she put some really cute troll stickers on the box that I hope you can I finally saw the Trolls movie last week or the week before. It was so adorable. And these stickers are so stinking cute. But I'm going to put the box off to the side now so that it doesn't show up on camera with addresses. Oh my god. She's so, so, so sweet. I can't even. It says birthday girl. Oh, I love you, Jeannie. You are the best. I legit was not expecting anything. This is so awesome. Jeannie spoils me rotten, like, on the regular. I'm so lucky. Oh, my gosh. It says, happy birthday all over with some cute balloons and my sky blue, which is my favorite color. I like this angle, so you don't have to see my teeth. But anyway, I know. Everybody's telling me it's not that noticeable, but I feel like it's the elephant in the room because it doesn't match my other teeth, and it's a little sticky outy and whatever. But I'm going to stop talking about it now. Because that is not what this is about. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a pop-up. It says, wishing you the best. Love, Jeannie. How cute is that? I love pop-up cards. They're so fun. And then you can just, like, display them like these. And they look so cute. Thank you so much, honey. You are the best. The actual best. Okay, I can see what's in the box. I was going to try to, like, hide the box so I could reach in and see and be surprised, but I can see. But I'm just gonna grab stuff. I'm gonna like try to keep the flaps. Okay, I've got the flaps now, so I'm not able to look so much. So I'm just gonna kind of grab and hopefully we'll be surprised with some things. This is so cute. This is the world's smallest. It says it is, yes, it actually works. Classic mini collectible toy, secret smallest. How cute is that? Actually, it says sectorate smallest. <laughs> That's actually really funny. How funny is that? But I'm so stoked because, you guys, these are all, like, classic toys of my childhood. I don't know if they're viewers, too. If we're of the same age group, approximately, they probably will be. But you can get an Etch-A-Sketch, a Rubik's Cube, a Doodle Top in one of three colors, a Polaroid keychain, a Magic 8-Ball, a Duncan Yo-Yo in one of three colors, a Chatter Phone, the old Fisher-Price Chatter Phone, or a Hot Wheels in one of three styles. And here is what they look like. I hope you can see them reasonably well. This is so cute. I've never seen a blind box like this before, ever, ever, ever. I'm opening from the bottom just because it seems easier. And it is blind bagged as well. It feels soft. What in here would be soft? Unless there's more things. Color styles and scale may vary. There's got to be something else in here because this feels totally soft and squishy. But this is what the blind bag itself looks like. World's smallest. Let's see what it is. I'm so excited. This is super cool. I've never, ever seen these. Jeannie finds the neatest stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's see. It is. Oh, shut up. Shut up. There are obviously more than what is on that package. You do not even know, Jeannie. I am obsessed. It is a freaking sock monkey. I love sock monkeys so, 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 so much. Like, legit love. This is freaking awesome epic he is so stinking adorable i love him i love him i love him i cannot believe of all the things i could have gotten like all that stuff that was on the box looked super cool but this is like even better i'm obsessed with sock monkeys he's precious i love him thank you thank you thank you thank you okay let's see what's next just reaching in Okay, ooh, Squinky Dew Drops Mystery Villa. I love these so much. These are super fun. I got a bunch of these recently from my friend Billy in a surprise friend mail. Well, I knew like one thing she was sending me, everything else was like legit surprises. So I am 
in love with squinky dew drops they're so fun you guys i got this one in the blue villa with the pretty pink kind of slate looking roof and it's got a cute bow on the front let me show you it's got like a cute little bow really adorable and here's a collector's guide I didn't have a, I didn't bring out a pen or anything to mark this because I had no idea what this would be. There are a lot of different ones you can get. So let's say if you are not familiar with these guys, you get two squinkies and one do and a do can be either a hairstyle or a hat or um, like once in a while, like there's a snorkel, which I actually got one time, which is technically not a hat. So it's, I guess, an accessory, but um, generally they're, they're head pieces. So let's see. I think this is a squinky. Yes, this is, feels like a squinky. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a sparkly glitter one. I know this has to be a special. Let me see. Can I get that to focus better? Oh, not really. Crap. But it is a super, super sparkly one. There are different rarities with these. And this one is an ultra rare, I think. This is the Pega Kitty. Oh my gosh, it is my first, I think this is my first ever ultra rare. Oh my God, it's so cute. There are only seven altogether. There's a Unicow, a Dragon Pug, a Pega Kitty, a Lady Pig, a Mer Teddy, and a Sea Elephant. And oh my gosh, I got the Pega Kitty. That is freaking epic. I'm so excited. That is fabulous. Holy crap. Okay, and next we'll do the do, why not? This is a do that I have already, but I don't care because it's a super, super cute one. And I'm not positive I have it in this color. I think this comes in two colors. This is called the Brady do. Not the, like the Brady Bunch, but as in like a braid, B-R-A-I-D-Y. And um, there's this purple one and there's also a blue. I'm pretty sure I have the blue actually. I don't think I have the purple. But this one is a, let's see, they all have the colors to show what their rarities are. This is a common, but again, I don't care because I love it. And I don't think I have a purple one. Okay, let's try it on the Unikitty. Or a Pega Kitty. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm sorry it's not focusing better. It's getting dark outside. I have overhead light on. I've been trying to do my best. <gasps> I don't think I have this one either. Oh my gosh. He reminds me so much of Donkey Kong, this gorilla. He's so cute. This is Go 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 Gorilla from the Jungle Oasis collection. And the Dews are just under the Dews. And then the Ultra Rares are just Ultra Rares. But there's different ones. There's like Far Away Forest, Jungle Oasis. Squinky Valley Acres, Arctic Island, Squinky Sea, and Gardenia. I think that's all the sections. And then there's playset exclusives. But this is Go Gorilla. Go Gorilla is a rare, and he does. He doesn't, he reminds you of Donkey Kong. He looks like Donkey Kong. Let me try the, the do on him, because I think that will look really funny. And they have little slots in the back, guys, so that they actually, like, the headgear actually, like, stays on really well. I actually really love that piece on him. Oh, my gosh. I'm so stoked. Thank you, Jeannie. I love these so, so much. Wow. So far, two, two blind bags, bag boxes, and I'm, I'm doing great. Okay. Yeah. I, I know. I have to stop worrying about my teeth. I can't, but I'm trying. Okay, next up, and I'm peeking and I shouldn't be peeking, but I got these beautiful stickers and these are so freaking me. It's not even funny because I am so into like 60s style, like flower child hippie shit. And with the tie dye hearts, these are freaking amazing. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I hope you can get like a decent look. So, it's, And I love rainbows. So, I mean, these are absolutely perfect for me. They're so pretty. And I actually don't have them, which is awesome because I collect stickers among so many other things. And I don't have those yet, so yay. Okay, let's see. Mm, I'm feeling another blind bag. Oh, yes! <gasps> Zoom Zooms! Yes, this is a mystery pack from Series 4. I love these so much. I wasn't going to collect um, the mystery packs. I was just going to do the figures at first because I was like, mm, you only get one figure in here. But with the accessories, they're so freaking adorable. These are the ones you can get, and I know it's probably blurry, so I'll just read them quickly. You can get Joy, Shock, Timon, Lotso, Locke, Lilo, Goofy, Perry, Sadness, Zero, Tigger, Rapunzel, Ursula, 
Bullseye, and Baymax. And from this series, the only ones I have so far are Timon, Lilo, Goofy, and Zero. So anyone with that, I would be really, really super stoked. I mean, if it's a duplicate, it's, you know, great for trading or whatever. So I'm not really worried about it regardless. Usually I feel the bags to try to guess who it is, but I just want to get right into it. Let's see, let's see. If I had a choice, I would really love for it to be either, probably Joy would be really cool, Lotso, even though he's a jerk, he's so cute. Rapunzel I would love, and Tigger I would love, but like I said, anyone would be super cool. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's Lilo, but that's okay, because I love Lilo and Stitch, so I seriously, legit, do not mind having a duplicate. And you guys, it comes with Pudge the fish. If you have seen Lilo and Stitch, or maybe you haven't recently, there's a little fish that she feeds peanut butter sandwiches to because Pudge controls the weather, according to Lilo, and that is Pudge the fish. I'm not going to open this and put it together right now because I do have one of these already, but it's so freaking adorable, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so stoked, but uh, the fact that they included Pudge is just so freaking epic. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. Here's another blind bag, and this one is... <gasps> Ooh, Despicable Me Mega Constructs. How cool. I've never had one of these before. These are cute. Okay, it shows you like these three little guys on the back. Believe it or not, you guys, I have never seen Despicable Me wearing Dominions, like movies, any of them. I know it's ridiculous, and I've heard my husband's seen Despicable Me, the first one, and I think he's seen the Minions too, but I'm not positive. I have not seen any of them yet, but I think the minions are so adorable. So I don't know what the hell I'm waiting for, but I'm super stoked for this. Okay, I almost cut through my checklist, I think, but let's see. Here is the checklist. I'm so, I can't believe what cool stuff Jeannie finds. Okay, so there's these three guys on the front here. And I'm guessing, okay, it shows you on the back how to put them together. So those are the three that you can get. Okay, so here are the three that you can get. And I honestly, seriously don't care which one because they're all adorable. So let's see which one we got. And I'm not going to know names, obviously, because I haven't seen the movie yet. Okay, we got, let's see. We got the one with the Easter egg bottom that goes upside down. So let me see if I can put him together really quickly. If I can, I will. If I cannot, then obviously I won't waste your time, guys. But let's see. Okay, well, obviously we've got headgear here. Okay, so let's put the headgear on. Oh, okay. Okay, it's got actually step-by-step -step directions. Okay, so you put this into... Okay, it shows the feet separate from the pants, but it's already put together. So that's one less step I have to do. Okay, it looks like this guy kind of sits inside the pants here like that no no okay no that's not right because his arms are in too and his arms shouldn't be in because they go in the little straps of his overalls okay so let's put the arms inside here i know i could pause and come back but i want to show you guys in real time as i put together this cute little guy okay then we've got the okay let's say then we do the the goggles with the eyes whoops Okay, and the eyes are supposed to be looking up like in surprise. It's like rubber and it's got a little slot where the eyes go in. Okay, and then we get this little blue peg kind of thing here. And uh, now it says the blue peg goes in there, but it looks like this black piece should go in there. Hmm, okay. It says the blue peg, so I'm going to go with the blue peg. Okay. And then it goes into the egg. It looks like a part of an Easter egg to me. Okay, so I don't know what this... Ooh, his arm fell out. Okay, so I don't know what this extra little black piece here is for because it doesn't show you that being used. So maybe that was just an additional piece that they stuck in. But that's what he looks like put together. And he actually goes upside down in the picture that they show on the front here. Like he's stuck in there which is really, really cute. And then it's also got this little um, piece that you can stand him on. So if you want to just display him standing up, he can go, I'm assuming his little feet will lock into place and you can show him that way. So I really don't know what this black piece is for. 
Unless it's supposed to be like an accessory that he holds in his hand, but I'm not seeing that at all in any of the diagrams. So I don't know. I'm just going to stick it in his little hand there. That's a, it's like soft rubber. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's just a mistake that they put that in there, but it kind of looks like he's holding some kind of a little tool. So I may just keep that with him. Hmm. That's very interesting. Well, he does have a hole in the back here. So I'm wondering if, hmm. It legit does not show that black piece on these directions. I'm not crazy, right? Like, look. See, that's the the diagram. So, I don't know. But I'm just going to leave it in his hand for now because it kind of looks like it's a little tool, like he's doing construction or something. But I think he's the dwarves, and I love him. And if you guys um, want to tell me in the comments which minion this is, I would love to know what his name is. And, yes, I will eventually see Despicable Me and the Minions movie. Despicable Me 3, I think, comes out pretty soon. So I got some catching up to do. Okay, let's see. There's more goodies in here. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay, let's see. Next up, we have a box. Oh, is this a gift -um? It is. This is a cute one. Look at the design on this. It's like leopard. Not, is it not leopard. Like a tiger. Like a, like a, like a, are there snow tigers? I know there's snow leopards. I would assume, like, with the white, it just reminds me. I guess it could be a zebra, too. It probably is supposed to be a zebra. I don't know if there's a such thing as a white tiger. I know there's white leopards or snow leopards, but um, these, if you're not familiar, guys, are little, like, little girl figures, and they come from different countries and cities around the world, and they come in these cute little boxes. You pop them open, and then you pop out the little blind bag. Well, it's actually not a blind bag. It shows you... You get the little girl inside, and she's really, really, really cute. Oh my gosh, and I'm getting a peek inside, you guys. This one is from America. I don't think I've ever, I only have like one or two of these, but I've never had one from the US before. But I got, this is Brittany Beach, and she's from Miami. Oh, that's so cool. Because I lived in Florida for eight years, and I know Jeannie frequently vacations in Florida. And I have an aunt that lives in Miami. Hi, Aunt Jackie. Not that she watches my videos, but it shows you like three different um, images of scenery in that city. And then in the sides just kind of pop together. And she is so cute. She's got her little hands on her hips like Miss Attitude. Does the hair come off? It does. The hair does come off so you can swap out the hair with other... Um, with other Okay, brain fart, giftums that you may have. But yeah, she can just stand inside her little display. And you can either close the sides in like that, or you can just open them up so you can see all the background images. But she is so cute, and I love that she's from Miami. That's awesome. So adorable. She's really cute. And um, I think these have, they do, they have rarities as well. They can be common, rare, ultra rare, special edition, or limited edition. And there are day ones, which are here. I know it's very hard to see, but there are day ones. And then on the back, it shows swim ones. And also, there are snow ones. Okay, there's swim and snow. Oh, and there's a few for night. Okay, and these are the ones for night. I know these are not great images, but let's see. She looks like she would be day. Or maybe swim. Let's see. She could be swim. Brittany Beach, yep, she is from Swim, and she is a common, but I love her. I don't even care that she's a common. I never worry about commons or rares. I just think it's super cool when I get stuff that's unique to my collection. But again, as in the case of Lilo, even if it's a duplicate, it's a swappable, it's a, you know, it's a giftable, it's a potential prize, it's something that I can customize. I've done that with some of my Tsum Tsums that I've gotten duplicates of in the past, where I painted them with nail polish. I can show you that sometime. Okay, next up, oh my gosh, yay, I have one my mochi, moji, uh, my moji, speak clearly, of my little pony. Um, crap, which one do I have? The pink one. Twilight Sparkle? No, she's purple. I think I have the pink one, Pinkie Pie, I think I have. But I don't remember for sure. I think it's Pinkie Pie. I would love to get Rainbow Dash. I don't watch MLP, but I love my little ponies. Okay, didn't get Rainbow Dash, but that is okay. Totally okay. This one is precious. And I see diamonds on the side here. I don't know what her name is, but she's a unicorn, which is super, super, super cool. Please, guys, tell me who this is. Is this Twilight Sparkle? This might be Twilight Sparkle, actually. 
because it doesn't give you a checklist, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm pretty sure the pink one that I have is Pinkie Pie. I'm thinking, is purple Twilight Sparkle? I don't know, but yeah, she's got like the, her little cutie mark is these diamonds, so I don't know, but please do let me know who this is. I love that she's a unicorn. That's so awesome. I love her, love her, love her, love her, and I think there's actually more in this box, which is crazy. Okay, I'm peeking. There are two more things. I saw one of them, and one of them is another gift -um. And I love that these boxes are all so different. This is a really cute one in the green with the yellow stripe. And I just think it's so sweet that they put the bows on top. They really go to the trouble of, you know, even if you wanted to just, like, put them away and store them for a while, you could just keep them in the self-contained little gift -um gift box, and they just look so freaking cute. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who did we get? <gasps> who is this, who is this, who is this? Oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, I think I opened that wrong. Oh my gosh, I got another American one. <gasps> Holy crap, that's so cool. I got Mariah, Massachusetts from Boston, which is one of my most favorite cities. I have been to Boston now three? four times, I think. I went twice with a friend in college that went to Boston University. I went to see her back in the day. We're no longer friends, but we were for a long, long time. And um, I went to, actually, I'm trying to remember. I might have visited her three times because I went for a graduation and then I went either one or two other times. And I went in high school with the Honor Society. Um, we went on a trip my senior year, which was super fun because I got to go to the Boston Aquarium and I was actually chosen to be in the dolphin show. I got to um, give the dolphin a fish and like make it go in a circle, which was so super fun. But And then I went once with my mom and some friends. But anyway, this is Mariah, Massachusetts from the beautiful city of Boston. And I love her. I love, I, I knew she was from the U.S. because she had the... Um, the blue top she's not like fully standing on her stand I'm not sure why but she had the blue top with the white stars so I was like oh she's got to be from America I love her hair I love her little wink she's like sassy in her own unique way and again that is what her little box looks like but she's precious I can't believe I got two from the US that's so funny that's really really cool and she looks like she would be a day one so let's see Mariah, Massachusetts. We will start with the day. Yep, Mariah, Massachusetts is a rare. Oh, sweet. That's really cool. And um, she is from the day collection. So I love her too. Yay. Okay, and I know it's getting dark outside, guys, and it's harder to see, but maybe my lovely tooth is showing less. And I know I said I was going to shut up about it, but I can't. Okay, less, but definitely not least. Oh my gosh. How freaking adorable is this it is a strawberry flavored lip gloss and it is a freaking cupcake teddy bear holy cannoli okay let me bust this bad boy open it looks like it is sealed with some kind of like you know those um those tape circles they put on the side of things here let me see if i can get this here we go you know what i mean these little things that are you know the round tape circles like that okay let's get her out she's adorable oh my gosh okay let me get her out of there oh crap okay good thing she didn't fall on the ground she's so cute she is blue with the sky blue little cupcake base which i freaking love and she's got this gorgeous little flower crown which is so me i would rock this flower crown like legit in life and i love that her eyes are closed with these little long lashes like she's sleepy because yeah that's that's pretty much me like 90 percent of the time or at least i wish it was but um again it did say on the package it is strawberry scented okay let me see it's got like a little lip here so i should be able to pop this up there we go and there is the gloss inside. It actually looks kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup to me, like the way the base is, or a cupcake. Let me try some. First, let's get a good scent. It's just nice and glossy, which I know you're probably not gonna be able to see in this light. And it does have a really nice light strawberry scent. Mmm, that's really cool. Let me, I'm trying to get my finger in there so I can get a good amount to put on. You're not going to really be able to see it on me, of course, but um, 
I just want to get a good amount on so I can feel it. Mmm. No flavor, but that's okay. It just gives you a nice little glossy look, which, again, I know you can't see. I apologize. But this is absolutely precious. Jeannie, you are such a freaking rock star. I love you so, so, so much. You are such an amazing, sweet friend and so damn generous. It's ridiculous. So thank you, thank you, thank you for this birthday gift. I really, I legit thought, like, my birthday was done, so I did not expect this at all. I'm so happy and thrilled because my birthday was actually a week ago, you guys. But, um, yeah, I'm so stoked. So thank you, Jeannie. Guys, if you haven't yet entered my um, lip balm giveaway for 500 sub subscribers, please, please, please do so. You will see um, there are two giveaway links um, in my uh, playlists. One is U.S. only. One is non-U.S. only. So, yes, thanks to my awesome friends at Bombshot Lip Balm, B-A-L-M-S-H-O-T dot com to check them out. I now have a prize package, identical prize packages that are going to the U.S. winner and to the non-U.S. winner. They are going to be shipped directly to you from Bombshot, which is really awesome. So please, please, please just do read the rules. You Obviously, you have to be a subscriber. And um, there are different, slightly different rules on each giveaway. But basically, in a nutshell, if you are under the age of 18, you have to indicate in your comment that you do have your parents' permission to enter. Obviously, comment that you're a subscriber and that you wish to be entered. And for the U.S. giveaway, I want to know something that makes you happy. So please comment, and not on this thread, not on this video, but on the video pertaining to yours, whether it's you are a U.S. subscriber or a non-U.S. subscriber. Um, just comment the things that I'm asking, please, so that I know you want to be entered. And if you are a non-U.S. subscriber, the only difference, again, I want you to comment that you're a subscriber. If you are under the age of 18, that you have your parents' permission to enter. Um, indicate that you do wish to be entered. And tell me what country you are from and something really interesting and cool that I, as an American, would love to know about your home. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Jeannie. I love you guys so, so much. I apologize for the wonky lighting. Um, one week from today, fingers crossed, knock on wood, I will have my real final permanent crown once and for all, let's hope. And then I will be less shy about my froze and I'll be doing a lot more lip balm review videos because I know I had a subby shooting star, I think it is, request I do some lip balm reviews. I just feel really self-conscious about my mouth right now, honey, so that's why I haven't been doing them, but I will soon. I promise, I promise, I promise. As soon as this tooth is fixed and I feel like my smile is back to normal, I will do it. I promise. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you all and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye guys.